Welcome back to Resell Mania. For those of you who do not know, I am a full-time reseller and we are on another thrifting trip. So let's run inside the Goodwill and see what we can find to flip. The best Goodwill in the country. Oh, that's a cool horse piece. Don't want one of these small carts. We want a big cart. I'll have to look up this exact model of A6 because they are $10, but they're in really clean condition. Just a little, you know, stuff on the bottom, some dust. So I think this is an older model, but we'll look it up. So this is a brand I've never heard of, Blackstone. I mean, they look nice and they feel like good quality. They're 10 bucks. I'm gonna put them in the cart and I'll let you guys know if they're worth anything. I'll bring the hard goods. Tom Tom, $5.99. Special edition, I'll have to look it up. Another eye click or two. Nice. What's this? Hmm. I'll scan the code. Looks like something that's scannable. Which is this? Oh, Ooh, this is also gonna be really good. Which is it? Where are the price tags? Hmm. I was on top and for four dollars I will definitely take that. Let me set this down. Okay, yeah. Four dollars for a quizzy night. Awesome. Okay, so the ninja's only ten and this is a really good model, but the blender is broken down here in the bottom or the pitcher, and that's the most valuable part of it, so I'm gonna leave it. But for four bucks for this, I'll get you know, 30, 30 just for the pitcher, 20 for the lid, 25 for the shoot, so that's awesome. All right, headed over to the women's shoes. First thing to catch my eye are these Solomons. They're 10 bucks. Not a crazy model, but I mean, this is the season to sell them. They're in such good, clean condition. They should probably go for like 35 to 40, so I'll get them. Uh, those are the same Ariat slip-ons that have been here. Ooh, oh ho ho ho. Six dollars for these on clouds, and this is a newer model too. And it's in, they're in such good condition. Wow, how are they only six bucks? I will take those. Not sure what these are. All All Saints. Mm -hmm. They look nicer. Ooh, Brooks for six. They are missing insoles. I'm pretty sure this is a good model. I mean, they're, they're a little too beat. Not really, the tread's good. I'm gonna put them in the car and look up the model, see how well it does. All right, I haven't even got into half of the women's aisle yet. And I usually don't find a lot of women's shoes here. But here's some Uggs. Oh, a little too much of the scuff ripped off. Some more Uggs though for 10. This model doesn't sell too well. I'm gonna leave them for 10. So many shoes over here today. Some Nike SBs for, how much was it? Eight. Hmm. Tip, the uh, tips are kind of peeling off. 13 for these. Hmm. 13 for high. Those have been here a while. My slipper. I have sold these before, my slippers. Uh, my pillow makes them, but they just take a while to sell. And the bags is this Oakley backpack. It's just so beat up. This was in good condition, it would be worth the eight dollars. What is that? Nothing. These are pretty cool, not something I would typically pick up. Uh, I'm gonna leave them, they're just cool. Okay, I'm not getting these because of condition and they're the kid size, like they have holes in the heels. But these are something that you need to add to your buck uh your bolo list if you it's not on it already. Moon boots, especially in adult size. I sold a pair of these in adults for $150 once. All right, so I'm putting back both of these. This is four bucks and it sells for like 20 free shipping and the Tom Tom just doesn't really sell at all. At least not this model. Okay, so I was over here just a minute ago and I don't know how I missed this. It's 10 bucks, it's brand new in the box, Crelevere uh, Massager. They, it sells and it sells consistently for about 100 bucks plus shipping. So that is awesome. And I think the cart's full enough where I am going to use my 20% off coupon at this stop. So all this is, you know, gonna be 20% off. Okay, after comping stuff out, 
I'm gonna get these brooks. They're just really dirty. Uh, yeah, they're just really dirty, honestly. Missing insoles, I can replace those. But they're only six bucks, and this model sells for about 50 to 60 in good condition. So I think I'm gonna take a chance on them. The Blackstone, it looks like it does sell, but it's just not selling enough. And the Asics uh, only go for about 35, so for 10, it's just, I'm gonna leave them. All right, after doing one more loop around, I found these Hoka's that are in pretty good condition, a little wear on the tread, a little dirty, but I mean, they're a newer model and they're only six bucks. So I'm gonna also get these. Just found some Ride, Ride Snowboards snow pants. These always do really well for me. Overall good condition, $7, so it should go for roughly 40. Okay, not bad. I think I paid $39 even. I ended up not using the card, uh, the gift, the coupon, because I'm stingy and I know I'll have a bigger purchase at some point. But I mean, this here will get me 100. I'll get roughly 80 bucks in profit from this bad boy. And all the shoes, the on clouds, will sell probably within 48 hours and make me all my money back plus some. So that was a good first stop. Okay, we are at Four Corners Thrift Store now where it is half off the entire store. You might be asking yourself, Mikhail, what's with the snow? Well, that's a great freaking question, Susan. What's with it? I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. Sir Bradford Limited Edition Bear. I'll look it up. I doubt it's going to be worth anything, but it's only going to be five. Yesterday when I was here, I found that uh, $250 cologne. So I also found one here worth $150. So I always check here because they usually have some good cologne, but I'm not seeing any today. The vans made it to half off. Did the other pair? I know there's a second pair. Oh, they did. Five, seven fifty. That's a good model. Those will both sell pretty well. These ones are only five. Also gonna get these Kings now that they made it to half off day for five. Not a crazy model, but you know, they'll go for twenty-five to thirty. Some women's Kohans for only two dollars and fifty cents. Can't beat that. Women's coal humps don't sell as well as men's, but for $2.50, I'm gonna get them. Put in the bear back as it is not worth it. There's none sold and a bunch listed, but they're only listed at like $11 plus shipping. So it's looking like it's gonna be only a shoe stop, but we did get some good pairs of shoes. This style of vans always sells uh, really fast for me. All right, four pairs of shoes, $20 total, $5 a pair. Uh, these three should go for about 30 a piece plus shipping and these ones should go for about 45. These are the Van Skate High MTE and they always sell really well. They're like kind of like hiking skateboard boots, but they do really well for me. And the clip you are going to see next is going to be tomorrow at Rethink Thrift. It is the next day and we are at Rethink Thrift. They're about to open the doors and we're going to run in here and see what we can find to flip. All right, first thing came into the new racks and I don't know what these are, so I department 56. They're lolly sticks. Not really sure what they are or if they're worth anything, but I'll look them up in a bit. Down here, these Nikes caught my eye. Don't exactly know what model they are. She said shoes are half off. Oh, these are, I feel like these gotta be fake. They feel kind of cheap, but we'll put them in the cart and do some more research in a bit. These feel much nicer though. They're gonna be 750. I'm not sure what model this is. But they look really nice. So those are definitely going in the cart to have some more research done on them. But something great just caught my eye. <laughs> oh yeah, if I can grab it. A TI-84 Plus for six bucks. That is a no-brainer. These have gone down in value, unfortunately. And they don't sell as fast anymore, but it's still 40, 45. On another new car, this logo here caught my eye. That is Adidas 510. These are mountain biking shoes. Mountain biking shoes are something you want to look out for. This is the season to sell these. And they always sell really fast. This is probably a $40 pair of shoes. Up on the shoe rack are going to be these Chaco boots. This style of Chacos usually sells pretty well for me. They are five and they should go for roughly 40. As you guys know, I don't know a lot about purses and handbags, but this just felt like really, really good condition, uh, material, very good quality leather. The brand is Patricia Nash, and I think it's, yeah, they're $5.99, and new, they sell for a lot of money, like $150 to $175. Used, it looks like $45 to $50, so I'm gonna get it. 
It's a nice bag. Nice hydro flask bag. Ah, it's $15. If it's here tomorrow on half off day, I'll get it. But Teton Sports is decent. It's not crazy valuable, but it does sell. So digging through the new clothing pile, found some really good stuff so far. We'll go over in the bit once I'm done. All right, so this is a pile of stuff I'm getting. These Nike SB shorts are gonna be personal use. Got this, pat all clothing's $2.50, by the way. This nice Patagonia t-shirt. I've noticed with Patagonia, the ones with like cooler designs usually sell better. These are also Patagonia, just some Patagonia flannel button downs, really good condition. Here's a second one. Those will sell really nicely. These are some heavy duty cool hiking pants, KUHL. These are probably 35. And then another basic Patagonia t-shirt with like a nice basic design. It's for hiking, so this should sell pretty quickly. I'm putting back these Department 56 lolly sticks for three a piece. They aren't just really selling for that much on eBay. I mean, they're cool, but for three bucks a piece, if they're still here tomorrow on half off day, I'll grab them and put them in a whatnot auction. So this pair of Nikes is gonna be a buy. They're the Air Force One High Bobito. And uh, yeah, there's one sold for 150 and then one listed for 200. So for $7.50, I think this is gonna be a huge score. I still have to look into the other pair. All right, so these are absolutely fake. I mean, they're just, even if they weren't, they're in very beat up condition. If they're in good condition or real, they would sell for about 150, but you can just tell that's like glued on, very fake. I'm outside now by the donations. I haven't even checked out yet. She said, grab a fresh cart and start digging out there. So of course, I'm not gonna say no. Uh, so first thing, find these two pairs of gloves in this bag here. Some nice Harley Davidson gloves, but these just felt like good quality material. Uh, the brand is R-E-U-S-C-H. I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it seems to be a pretty good brand. Seems like the gloves can go for like 40 to 50 bucks, so that's a buy. A little Herschel wallet, new. Ooh, I know this colorway. Brand freaking new Cotopaxi. Yes, please. I will 100% take this. If you don't know this brand, it's a little llama as the mascot, you know, logo. That's a very high-end brand even used. What else is in this box of goodness? I saw this already. That's nothing. A little Herschel backpack. It's kind of stained up. Herschel's okay. Hmm, what is this doohickey? I have no idea. I'm just gonna, here, I'm going to try to do this without making a mess. This is a brand of ski snowboard pants I have not heard of before. Jack Wolfskin. Might not, this actually might be like more hiking, climbing, not really skiing. But uh, it seems to be pretty good. Not like a crazy brand, but seems to sell pretty well for about 30. So I'm gonna get that. They're only gonna be $2.50. And I also had found this Burton sweatshirt. It's like sea turtles. It's really cool, honestly. Uh, yeah, that's gonna probably be 20 to 25. These fry boots I pulled out of there, you know, decent little, nothing crazy of a model, but probably $50. And some Doc Martin Maley boots. I think that's the brand. Yeah, Maley. A little beat up, honestly, but she's only gonna charge me three bucks for them, so I'll get 20. Checked out with all the goodies, $59.36 for everything. Don't mind this stuff, it's all stuff that has to go to storage while I'm out, but, let me set you guys down. Oop. There we go. So, $59 for everything. I will hopefully at least double my money just on these Nikes. Honestly, I should get more to, closer to 120 to 150 though. Uh, the Chacos, those always sell well. Fry Boots, Fry is a brand you don't want to forget. The Adidas 510 mountain biking shoes always sell great. And yeah, all the clothing you saw, some really good clothing finds, honestly. The TI-84 Plus, every reseller's go-to item. That's an easy 40 bucks. Making me most of my money back very quickly. And this Cotopaxi bag, honestly, even though it's this tiny little, I don't know what it would be considered. It's on the tag somewhere. Let's see, what is this? Oh, and the Herschel wallet she put in there. It's a dop kit. Well, that now I'm even more confused than I was before I looked at the tag. Okay, well, this should go for, I'm guessing at least 30. It's such a high-end popular brand right now. And the Patricia Nash, Nash purse. That should go for about 40, I would assume, maybe more. So, overall, great first stop of the day. Okay, we are back at Goodwill. 
So it doesn't matter if Goodwill puts tape on something, open it up because I thought this was gonna be a huge score, this Logitech Ergo K860. It was like, it's a hundred dollar keyboard, right? I look it up and a worthless keyboard is what, the, I mean, I open it up and a worthless keyboard is what's inside. So I don't care if Goodwill tapes stuff up, I'm opening it because they don't, they don't pay attention to it, whether it's the same thing or not. Some of you might disagree with me on opening up boxes here. But let me tell you a story on why I do it. Uh, I was, bought something at a Goodwill, re not recently, but like last year. It was uh, supposed to be a car stereo unit and it was taped up. It said, do not open, brand new in box. Like it says, brand new in box. Uh, they wrote it on the thing. So I bought it, got home. Not only was it used and covered in dirt, but it wasn't even the right stereo unit, so. I am not finding anything today, really. Looks like they didn't get much to restock over the last day or two, so. <laughs> All right, finally, something worth grabbing. Uh, the Solomon Ski Helmet, it's $8, which is kind of paying up. The Solomon Helmets usually sell really well for me. Usually go for like 45. I missed this on the first go around. This makes the stop worth it. Little Olympus Zuko 50 millimeter lens with the case at six bucks. And this thing sells for like 70 to $75. Not bad. All right, just left, only got the two items, spent $14 even, but I think it's pretty good, uh, pretty good for two items, you know, 75 for the lens, 45 for the helmet, so over $100 in profit, can't beat that. The next clip you guys are going to, or clips you guys will be seeing are uh, me at storage. Typically, you know, I'd go from here to storage, film. But I had such a great sales weekend last weekend that I decided to film it on Monday. Over $2,000 going out the door. Multiple hundred plus dollar items, multiple $500 items. Really, really good sales weekend. All right guys, so we are at storage now. Typically with my videos, I do a full thrifting trip Tuesday. That's a video. Full thrifting trip Friday. That's a video. Uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, I go to two stores each day. Combine the two, go to storage. That's a video. But today it's Monday for me and I'm filming myself at storage. So it's like a day or two before the thrifting content you just saw. But I had to. It, I had a fantastic sales weekend and I wanted to show you guys some of the things I have going out. Since it's right here, I might as well show you this first thing. I picked this up in one of the first yard sale days of the season. Little hair. Uh, some briar horses. I sold this lot for 30 on eBay. And a lot of these big, well, two of these big sales didn't even hit the shelves yet because uh, they sold so fast. So I picked this up for $10 at a yard sale recently. 10 bucks. It's a Sonos S16 amp amplifier. It sold for $5. Hundred dollars, five hundred bucks, ten into five hundred, and it took a day to sell. And then down here is another good sale, not as high margins, but I paid thirty dollars for this uh, zebra printer, and it didn't even hit the shelves yet. I got this at a thrift store, and it sold for one hundred and thirty, I believe. Yeah, one thirty, so eighty bucks profit, and it took you know forty-eight hours to sell. I'll take that. And neither of those two items are the biggest sale of the weekend. Just, just saying, I'm not gonna show you yet. I'm gonna make you wait, do a little, I'm gonna tease you. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> show you some smaller sales first. Right, so I picked up this little pedometer by Oregon Scientific at uh, Rethink Thrift. I think I paid two bucks for it. It sold for 13 free shipping, nothing crazy, but I'll make four to five bucks in profit. Very easy to list. I'll throw it in a padded envelope and ship it out first class. All right, I sold one of the Brookstone massagers. I believe I paid $8 for this one and it sold on eBay for 50. So not bad. It's one of the higher end Brookstone massagers. Well, maybe not higher end, but more mid tier. 50 bucks is pretty decent. Most go for 30, some go for 150. You gotta look up each model as you find them. This jacket here is a nice little sale. It is outdoor research. So the thing with this jacket is I paid a dollar and 25 cents for it. Everything thrift. The zipper doesn't work, okay? I mean, it does, I was able to get it up once, but it's very finicky, very hard to get it up. Now this jacket has Gore-Tex, which is always something that's gonna add value to an item. And so I listed it, well, I looked it up. If it, the zipper was working, I could have got like 100 for it. But unfortunately it, it you know, doesn't work. So I still sold it for $42 for a broken jacket that I paid $1.25 for. I think that's really good, personally. Like, obviously, it disclosed in the listing. The buyer knows the zipper doesn't work. Uh, people can fix that if they have the time. And that's 
yeah a dollar into 40 definitely before we pull some orders you know just kind of try to i'm not good at words i'm not good at talking too much i'm kind of an awkward person i figured you know talk a little bit um so jess and i were having a debate earlier or well not earlier but a couple days ago and so i used to live in a van right i uh drove around the country just living in a van doing van life for a while and it was it was awesome I highly recommend getting a van or an RV it was so much fun but uh, we were talking about reselling and van life at the same time uh, I didn't do that I wasn't into reselling at that point in my life and I thought it's, it's pretty possible we were talking about how like maybe have like a roof rack system totes lining the roof and then like a small shipping station inside the van and you could travel the country while reselling and paying your bills that way like I think it's very doable obviously you don't buy super long tail items because you only have so much space but I kind of wish I was into reselling when I was living in my van because I feel like I could have been able to afford to do it longer been able to afford to live on the road a little bit longer than I did and I just think it'd be such a cool idea have like I said a row two rows of uh, the black and yellow totes like the sturdy ones strapped down to the roof of your van have like two day two three day handling on all items so you're not rushed and then pull it down pack ship and i don't know i think it's doable i, I think it'd be fun so and i know none of that information really has any value to you guys i just thought it was a cool idea and something i wish i had done differently when i was on the road okay so surprisingly since ski season is good and over with i sold some oakley ski goggles for 40. I paid probably three dollars for these and i've gotten asked a few times people are saying like i have all this stuff you know like this christmas stuff or halloween stuff and it's january february uh should i list it now or or not should i list but they say they're just gonna wait until you know the months it's closer to that time to list it and if you have it list it it's going to be sitting in your you know office or storage unit either way it might as well be listed and have the chance of selling uh like i said ski season's over and i just got 40 bucks for some goggles if i had waited till next year that's 40 bucks i wouldn't have right now like you're going to have it no matter what if you have it right so you might as well at least have it available for sale that's just my opinion here is another heckin' good sale right here. Still not the best sale of the weekend, but a really good one. I sold this Roland guitar amplifier for $190. I paid 50 for it, which is paying up. But I mean, it's brand new in the box. $190 from 50. I'll take it. I right, got this. So a lot of Hoover batteries and chargers can be really good. I think I paid $6 for this one and obviously, you know, battery and charger and I sold it for 30. Over in my amazing bin of clubs, I sold this Callaway Strata putter. Uh, this sold for 35. And if you guys want one of these beautiful rack systems, I have a link to Amazon where you can get one of these down in the description. Uh, in the description, I can't talk. Not a ton of shoes going out today, but some good ones. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those right now, and then I will show you the good sale, or the best sale. There's a lot of good sales, but I'll show you the best one next. Okay, so the best of the shoe sales are these brand new Doc Martens. Uh, never worn, I bought a bunch of brand new shoes this day at uh, Rethink Thrift. These ones were only $5. Five bucks, and they sold for $120 on eBay. That is insane, yeah. Super cool pair of shoes. All right, this model of Puma does really good. This is the California model, and these sold for 35, and I think I paid six for them. But I'm, sorry, I'm getting a little frustrated. That was the third time I of trying to film just that little clip right there with those shoes. I don't know what's going on with my GoPro today. Uh, I click record, and then it stops after one second, and I have to redo it, and it's getting a little frustrated. Frustrating, it just looked up third item that that's happened with so far so hopefully you know do your thing gopro the gopros can is it okay i thought i just did it again i was like are you kidding me the gopro is continuing to give me a hard time so i went ahead and pulled a few shoes so i don't have to do too many clips i sold these asics for 50 these adidas boost golf shoes took a while to sell but they did sell for 35 these dance goes sold on mercari for 40 
These no bowls sold on Poshmark. These are the Knit Runner model. Uh, they also sold for 40. And these on clouds, I had to list pretty cheap. I paid six for them. I gotta wipe that off before I ship them. But, uh, and they're pretty dirty. They got a little heel rub. I would have got more, but I still got 35 for them on Poshmark. Yeah, so uh, those are the shoes. There's a couple pairs of flip flops going out and those other two shoes, but overall good shoe weekend. So this is a new brand for me, Kolkia, K-U-L-K-E-A. It's a, called the Micro Pack. And I believe I paid $6 for this at uh, Goodwill. And it sold for 50. It took a little while to sell, but six into 50, I'll take it. All right, and last thing before the big sale is this HP 53X toner. I paid $8 for it and it sold for 50. And now the big boy. And the winner of the best uh, the best sale of the weekend award goes to, drum roll, da -da. <laughs> uh, I paid $15 for this Hermes 3000 typewriter and I was not expecting it to be worth as much as it, you know, is. I took an offer, I had it listed for 700. I took an offer of $600, $15 into $600 incredible i mean it's in great condition besides being a little dusty just gotta wipe it off so i had a 500 dollars item a 600 dollars item and multiple hundred dollar plus items going out this weekend just a fantastic weekend man i feel like osborne to thrift today yeah it's like a just average weekend for him i have a few more basic sales going out but i'm not gonna pull those on camera i'm gonna go ahead and head home and pack up some of these amazing sales thank you guys so much for watching remember every 1000 subscribers i'm giving away a four pack of american bubble boy bubble wrap to one of you so make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win with that i'm gonna end the video like subscribe and i'll see you next time